Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a healthy and nutrient-rich lunchbox sandwich recipe, ideal as a filling and healthy meal for students and bachelors. So let's get started with the recipe. I'm heating a kadai with the one teaspoon wood pressed groundnut oil. Once the oil is heated, add in one teaspoon jeera, also known as cumin seeds. And once the jeera splatter, reduce the flame to the lowest and add in half onion finely chopped, one green chilli finely chopped, a small piece of ginger finely grated and that's about half teaspoon finely grated ginger. Give it a good stir and lightly saute the onion until it turns transparent or light pink in color. And once the onions are transparent add in half cup finely chopped methi leaves also known as fenugreek leaves. Instead of fenugreek leaves, you can use any green leafy vegetable of your choice which is in season at the place you live in. The idea is to make this sandwich more nutrient dense and fiber rich. Half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon garam masala, 3 4 teaspoon amchur powder also known as dry mango powder. Give this all a good mix. I have already boiled 3 medium sized potatoes and I am mashing the potato with a fork. Add the mashed potatoes into it, pink Himalayan salt as needed and give it a good mix. And to this I am adding in one grated carrot, one third of a capsicum chopped, mix it really well. Once mixed, cover it for about a minute, after about a minute open the lid and give it a good stir. Turn off the flame, add in finely chopped coriander leaf. The best thing about the sandwich filling is that you can make ahead this and keep it in the refrigerator. This way it will be more easy to make sandwich in the morning, especially if you are carrying it as a lunch box meal. And now I'm going to allow it to cool down. To make the sandwich, I'm using two slices of bread. With this sandwich filling, you can make three to four sandwiches. I'm placing a generous amount of the filling onto the bread slice and I'm spreading the filling all over the bread slice. Cover with the other bread slice and lightly press it down. You can toast the sandwich on a cast iron tawa or you can even grill the sandwich. Today I'm using a sandwich maker which can be kept on top of a gas stove. Drizzle in a tiny bit of wood pressed groundnut oil and place the sandwich on top of it. Just in a little bit of wood pressed oil on top of the bread as well. Place the sandwich maker on top of the gas stove and toast both sides until done. I'm placing the sandwich onto a lunch box. Cover. And my super healthy aloo sandwich is ready. So guys do try this healthy aloo sandwich recipe and uh, let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.